Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at um, project groups in Lazarus. Um, they're quite useful if you are working on larger systems um, where you've got uh, multiple applications, multiple projects with, let's say, shared code. Um, this feature can be a bit of a, you know, a real lifesaver um, you know, when you'd like to say if you do a shared code. So the question is then what exactly is a project group? It allows you to have multiple projects um, loaded within the same workspace and can be useful when you've got a project with multiple modules or shared libraries or you know when you've got and as I was saying before applications where you've got code that is shared and you want to let's say um, make a change in one application and you just want to be able to check that it doesn't have a negative effect in another one so you could build them all at once you know uh, so we're looking at you know the menu options here essentially so here I've got the um, new project window open but the question is how did we get to here so we're just going to close that down and what do you want to do we want to discard the changes okay so to get to that particular screen then I went you go into the project menu and then uh, new project group and it will add in the in my in this particular on mine it will add in the current project and you can see at the top here it just doesn't have a name yet but the current project is automatically there so what we will do now is probably the very first thing we will do is to save our project group so we can uh, do something with it so let's call this one here uh, demos group and now you can see that we've got the name here the name appears up here and down in here you can also now see that it references an LPI file there and this is the LPR up here and if the and just so you are wanting if you are not aware then the LPI file that contains all the information about the project um, such as the build modes the files dependencies etc and if we were to expand this out then you would see you know that here um, now if we were to you know swing across the you know the top of the um, the toolbar there you've got file save add where you can add where I've got to open up another project which we are going to do in a minute and um, <coughs> Um, and add that to the project you could remove a project from the project group compile and compile clean reload and then some other functions here under more so you know for example here um, so if you want to say uh, if you were to you know add these options here in then we hit OK then basically now you get to see the whole path there we might as well just go back in I prefer the my preference is to just to show just the you know the, the name and not everything else so that's been saved like I said and now we may as well load in um, one of the projects which we were working on previously so if we now go to open here and we'll go back into here and if we can find my projects folder and I should have here uh, one yeah, where's my converter here uh, converter one let's open up that one open that project here we'll say yes to that one and now at the moment this particular um, project is hasn't been added into the project group yet so we can now go to file add current project and now I have two projects here I can easily switch between them by just double clicking and ask me do I want to save it I'll say yes and now in the background here you can see this demo program um, loaded and if I didn't I'll just minimize not minimize I'll collapse that one there double click on that one and it will now bring up this other application so 
what I could do, for instance, is to copy code from one to the other if I wanted, you know, just, well, the reason why I might have this here is I was looking at a particular grid and I just wanted to see how it operated by itself, so. Now, um, what you'll notice here, though, is under Converter, I don't have any um, build modes like I do up here. So how can we get to those? So what we can do here now is to look for the um, project options here. Um, go into here and look at our build modes. Um, you can see here they only have one. So if we go up to here now, I can add in the um, debug and release ones. And I hit OK there. Go back and hit OK here go into here and then reload uh, we'll say yes uh, why didn't okay let's add the current project in again and now you can see that I do have the um, the build modes now as part of this project without going uh, into too much detail here about the differences between a debug and a release one the um, the differences should be obvious, whereas one will have, you know, let's say debug information built into the program from, you know, so you can um, see where things may have crashed if they did, whereas a release one would be much smaller, um, have all the optimizations turned on to them, you know, let's say to the max, um, you know, for a to give to a customer. The other uh, options then that you would find in the project menu are we may as well show you the project inspector so um, we'll move that over here and we'll bring that down again a bit lower and you can see here that similar to what you would get you know down here except for the modes um, you can you know see what files are in the um, project and what it requires click on options you know you can basically get to the project options a lot faster here than having to let's say go through the project menu you know so you could do something like change the icon or um, you know change your path etc so here you can then see you can then you know switch between your um, modes here to wonder what that's bringing up there for anyway um, i'm not going to worry about that too much right now i'll see if i'm going to get rid of it um so here when we turn that on and off you can see that with our debugging all the things have been turned off but in release mode they are now all off there so that just gives you an idea of what you might have between a release and a build mode the other thing here under the project menu then you might be interested in um, know, knowing about is the forms so here um, it will show you all the forms which are part of the um, project and here I've only got one of them um, to show so um, if you did want to switch between forms you can use that one there quite easily and then you also might be interested in the project source which is this is the actual LPR file here um, which essentially gets pretty much created for you so whenever you do add in a file into the project this gets updated automatically um, I really didn't write any of that particular code there so that's pretty much all there for you but this one here was mainly about the project group here so um, here you can see like I said we've got two projects in here now you can switch between them um, it makes it easier for you to be able to um, manage multiple projects at once so um, is there anything you think I've missed hmm. Well, um, like I said, it's a powerful tool for managing multiple projects and um, ensuring dependencies and streamlining. It helps to streamline your workflow, I guess. And if you haven't um, looked at that particular uh, section of Lazarus or um, you don't use project groups, give it a try. Um, hopefully it works for you. 
And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy coding and bye.